All right, friends, so we have made it to the south unit. We are at the Theodore Roosevelt National Park uh, here in Medora. I have to say, this town is so cute. And look what I just saw. There's the Cowboy Museum. Oh, We're definitely okay. gonna check that out at some point. Jesse really wants to. Uh -huh. But let's head on into the south unit, see what all there is to do there. Our first stop is gonna be the Visitor Center. <laughs> so we will see you at the Visitor Center here at the south unit in Medora of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, i.e. the Missouri River Badlands. All right, friends, so we made it inside the South Unit. We're fisting ahead into the Visitor Center here at the South Unit. Now, one of the things that I will say, this is the National Park, so there are fees associated. I think it's $15 per person. We actually have the annual National Park Pass. I think that is $80. Definitely worth the investment uh, if you're gonna be doing this type of lifestyle, traveling around, seeing all the national parks. So let's head right on inside and to the South Unit Visitor Center and see what all there is inside. So here's a little bit of fun information. The South Unit is actually the largest unit inside the park. How awesome is that? 46,000 acres. Um, and it has a sprawling 11 miles of the Little Missouri River. That is so cool. All right, let's head on inside the Visitor Center and check it out. All right, friends, so we just got inside the Visitor Center and check out all of these cool displays. How cool is that? A lot of um, bones and furs and stuff of the animals who are native to this area. Very cool so far in terms of the Visitor Center. And check this out. They actually have a bison head inside the Visitor Center. How cool is that? Now, just like most all of the other visitor centers, you have clothes, you have books, you have park uh, stickers, you have magnets. All of those cool things are here as well. So don't fret. You are going to find everything you need. All right. We're going to get our passport book uh, stamped here at the cancellation stamp station. And then we're going to head inside the park. All right, friends. So one of the unique things here about the South Visitor Center is this um, backside museum where they actually have a lot of very cool and unique things. Uh, that you can explore, see fossils, bones behind me, as you can tell. They have a, um, a display board of the painted canyons, as well as a life-size wooden horse of Theodore Roosevelt. Check that out. <laughs> How crazy. Of course, this is the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, so there's, of course, a lot of information about Theodore Roosevelt, about him, about his presidency and him, um, you know, exploring this area and this region. Tons of information, as you can see behind me, about Theodore Roosevelt. However, here's what I will say. They have... Um, constructed it all in a very unique way where it's very immersive and you feel like you get a good sense of uh, this area and this park and who Theodore Roosevelt was. You know, the South Unit was the first National Historic Site which was established as a national park in 1947. And then the North Unit was actually established many years later in 1978. The way that the park ranger explained it to us is the North Unit is gonna be more vibrant. It's gonna have um, more diverse wildlife. The prairie dogs actually have a lot more presence here in the South Unit as opposed to the North Unit. Um, so you're gonna to get to see different different sceneries in both parks. So you wanna make sure that you're here long enough to see not only the south unit, but also the north unit. So I'm gonna take a moment, flip the camera around and kinda of show you a little bit of this, um, this area and then we'll drop some pictures in that Jesse's been taking for you. So check this out.
All right, friends, so that is the Southeast Unit Visitor Center. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Check out some of these pictures from Jesse, and then we're gonna head out to Theodore Roosevelt's Hunting Lodge Cabin, which is just right outside the South Visitor Center. Here's the cool thing. Um, Elkhorn Ranch, which is Theodore Roosevelt's um, ranch here in North Dakota. Unfortunately, the foundation is the only thing that is left, but his hunting lodge cabin, um, which is right outside the South Visitor Center, is still standing. So that's where we're headed next. So check out some of these pictures from Jesse, and we'll see you at the cabin. Alright friends, so we are right outside of the Maltese Cross Cabin. Um, this is right out the doors, the back doors of the South Unit Visitor Center. This was actually Theodore Roosevelt's home in his mid-twenties. And uh, as he approached his presidency, he started splitting time between here and New York City. How cool is this? We're going to go inside Theodore Roosevelt's home. Let's check it out. All right, friends, so we're heading inside Theodore Roosevelt's home. Let's check this out. Look at this. There is still things here from when he lived here. How cool is that? Absolutely awesome. Let me spin the camera around and show you, and then we'll throw in some pictures from Jesse. is that this is actually Theodore Roosevelt's house where he stayed where he lived obviously I'm sure there's been some preservation work done but uh, yeah check out check that out I mean that was his bedroom right there this was his living room and kitchen and then over here where Jesse is what is this his office maybe oh no this is actually the this is actually the kitchen so there's kind of a pantry over there and then actual cooking stove pantry here dining room table, work desk, and then of course his heater for the winter. How awesome is that? It is a very small cabin. I could not imagine living here, but I guess if you were single and you were 20 years old, probably a nice little bachelor pad, right? <laughs> All right, let's head on inside the South Unit National Park and we'll show you some of the scenery there. Check out the pictures that Jesse's taken. One of the first um, pull-offs overlooks it's just past the ranch uh, if you come visit here you'll know what I'm talking about but this is a beautiful and spectacular overlook that we have the pleasure of seeing check it out All right, friends, hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna throw some pictures in right now of our journey so far. And then I'm slapping the GoPro back on the hood of our Forerunner, and we're gonna continue on the trail and get some more amazing views. Wow, hope you're enjoying it so far. Check out some of these pictures. All right, friends, so we are making the short hike. It's 0.4 miles. The sign said it takes about 15 minutes to get there. So we're gonna make this short hike and then we're gonna show you Wind Canyon Trail. One of the unique things about the Wind Canyons is it is the only canyons here in the National Park that were actually formed by wind, not water. Most of the canyons, or actually all the canyons, except for this one, were formed by the Little Missouri River. Um, this is the only one that's formed purely by wind. So let's go check it out, shall Holy we? Holy cow, check this out. So 
And just to give you perspective, we just kind of walked up this little trail. Our cars are right back there. And right at the top, you're met with basically a straight down drop off. <laughs> not sure why they, uh, they only put wood here on the side and not here on the front, but isn't it beautiful? Check it out. So right behind us here is the Little Missouri River that has formed a lot of these uh, canyons here. Check it out. All right, so we're getting a glimpse our first glimpse of some of these wind carvings. Check out this rock right here, you know, where the wind has just come through and ripped the rock away. Look at that, how cool is that? We wanna stop and take a minute and just show you some of the wind erosion. Mother nature is absolute crazy, isn't it? Look at this, <laughs> how cool is that? All right. Let's continue on our hike. Check this out. Here's some more examples. Look at this. This wind tunnel just goes straight into the rock and <laughs> rock sounds pretty hollow. <laughs> How about that? Check it out. How crazy is that? Absolutely wild. So I don't know if you can see it, friends, but right back over there is actually where the wind canyon is. Check it out. You can see the holes inside the rocks. Isn't that awesome? It's right on the opening of the Little Missouri. By the way, if you're brand new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and do smash that like button. It really does help us grow our YouTube channel. And like I mentioned, leave us some comments in the box below. We wanna hear from you. All right, friends, so we're at another overload destination spot, and this one, wow. We're, you know, you kind of get an appreciation for how high up in terms of elevation that you are when you look down into some of these canyons and realize just how deep they are. Absolutely incredible what Mother Nature can do. Let's check out this overlook. So how about that, you know, between the bison and all of these, you know, deep canyon walls, the overlook is just absolutely worth the trip out here. You know, if you are coming to North Dakota at all, honestly, the east side of North Dakota, a lot of farming, you know, around Fargo and stuff is very, very flat. In fact, 40 minutes east of here, you're back to that same flat area, you know, but right out here in the Badlands, around the Little Missouri River, absolutely stunning. You can't beat it. We're, we're glad we did this. You know, full-time RV lifestyle has its ups and downs, but moments like this makes it absolutely worth it. All right, we're gonna head to the other side of the overlook and take a look at what that looks like. All right, so we made it to the other side, the overlook and, you know, Look at this. How awesome is this?
All right, friends, we have made it to Buck Hill. Check this out. It is an awesome overlook. I will say it is a steep climb up here, though. Check it out. And if you think that view is awesome, check out some of the pictures we've been taking. Enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed this south unit of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park here in the North Dakota Badlands. We are Ryan and Jessica and we are out of here for this episode. Our next episode we're going to hit up the north unit so stay tuned for that episode to drop. We are Ryan and Jessica and we'll see you at our next Destination Unknown. <laughs>